Hello students. Today, let us discuss the topic system of limits and fits. So, first of all, look at this diagram. So, here the capital H indicates holes and small h is for shafts and holes are designated with capital letters you can see capital a here capital b capital c these are meant for the holes so holes are designated with capital letters so letters a to g are oversized holes and letters P to Z C are undersized holes. The same way, so this is holes here and this is the shaft. So the same way, shafts are designated with small letters. So, M to small m to small z c are oversized. So, the letters small a to small g are undersized shafts. So, the terms and the symbols that are basically used in this system. So what are they? So basic shaft. So what is the basic shaft? It is a shaft whose upper deviation is zero. It is the maximum limit of shaft coincides with the nominal size or the zero line. The next term is the basic hole. So basic hole is a hole whose lowest deviation is zero. That is the minimum limit of the hole coincides with the normal size or the zero line. So basis of fits. So what is the basis of the fits? So hole basis. In this system, the basic diameter of the hole is constant while the shaft size is varied according to the type of fit. So, in basis of fit in this system, the size of the hole will be constant. It will not change, but the shaft size will be changed according to the type of the fit required. In hole basis system. Now, so this is the whole basis system of fits. So what is the significance or importance of this whole basis system? See the Bureau of Indian Standard that is the BSI recommends both whole basis system and shaft basis system but the selection of either the whole basis system or the shaft basis system depends on the Production method. Generally, holes are produced by drilling, boring, reaming, and broaching processes. Whereas shafts are either turned or they are ground. If shaft basis system is used to specify the limit dimensions to obtain various type of fits, number of holes of different sizes are required, which in turn requires tools of different sizes. So that is why this whole basis system is of importance. So this is the whole basis system where the size of the hole will remain constant here. The hole is given with this green coloration as mentioned here and the shaft is given here. So you can see the size of the shaft is varying. 
so based on the type of fit required so for clearance fit what is the size the size of the shaft is a little bit small for transition it is little bit big for interference fit it is even more larger so this is the whole basis system so next one is the shaft basis system so in this system the basic diameter of the shaft will remain constant while the hole size will be changing so it may be necessary to use the shaft basis system whereas different fits are required along a long shaft for example in case of driving shafts where a single shaft may be accommodate to variety of accessories such as coupling bearing collar it is preferable to maintain constant diameter of a permanent member that is nothing but the shaft and vary the bore of the accessories so it is mostly used in case of driving shafts so here this is the shaft basis system so here we can see that the hole that is in the green color is changing its size the diameter of the hole is being changed whereas the shaft is of the constant size or the constant diameter so this is the shaft basis system the next is the grade of the tolerances grades of tolerances so what is a grade it is the measure of magnitude of the tolerance so lower the grade the finer will be the tolerance so here grade of the tolerance so if the grade is less the tolerance will be very fine so there are total of 18 grades which are allocated so fine grades are referred to be the first few numbers so there are 18 grades among which the first few numbers are the fine grades as the number gets larger the tolerance zero or the tolerance zone becomes positively wider selection of the grade should depend on the circumstances as the grades get finer the cost of the production increases at a sharper rate so here in this figure we can see as the grades are becoming finer the cost of the production will start increasing so when the grades are fine that is with a less number then the cost of production will be very high 18 grades so here they have mentioned the number of grades present here that is it5 it6 okay as grade number increases the tolerance zone becomes wider so as the grades get finer the cost of production increases at a sharp rate so low grades will have finer tolerance so tolerance grades so tolerance grades may be numerically determined in terms of standard tolerance that is unit i where i is in microns is given by for basic size up to and including 500 mm and for basic size above 500 mm up to and including 3150 mm where d is in millimeter and it is the geometric mean of the lower and upper diameters of a particular step in which the component lies 
so these grades uh, are given in terms of standard tolerances and the unit is i where i is in microns unit is i which is microns so here we can see the grade it is 7i that is nothing but i is in microns that is the standard tolerance and d is in mm and it is the geometric mean of the upper and lower diameters of a particular step in which the component lies it is the geometric mean of the lower and upper diameter in which so the various diameter the various diameter steps specified by the isi are are given as 1 to 3 3 to 6 6 to 10 10 to 18 18 to 30 30 to 50 50 to 80 80 to 120 180 to 250 250 to 315 then 315 to 400 and 400 to 500 all in mm so the value of d is taken as the geometric mean of the particular range of size to avoid continuous variation of the tolerance with the size so the fundamental deviation of type d e g f staff shafts are respectively small d small e small f small g shafts 16 d power 0 0.44 comma it is minus 16 and minus 11 d power 0 0.41 comma minus 5.5 .5 d power 0 0.41 and minus 2.5 d power 0 0.34 the fundamental deviations of the type capital d capital e capital f capital g shafts are also given that is nothing but the positive values of the above given shaft so the relative magnitude of each grade is shown in the table here so the relative magnitude of each grade will be shown in this figure which is given here so that is nothing but it is equals to 11 into it 6 that is nothing but 10 into 10 i that is nothing but 100 i that is not i is nothing but micron so the same way it 12 can be written as 10 into it 7 which is 10 into 16 i which can be written as 160 i so of the same way we can calculate for all the grades so this is all about the system of limits and fits